Hello and welcome to the video. This is how I have made this particular part. Now this is a protector for the camera at the front of the DJI HD system. And it's one of those things that as I was uh, kind of finishing the final design, I'm just about to show you how I made it. Um, I thought, you know what, that's actually quite a cool trick in SketchUp. Now this, all it is really is just a very simple uh, cover that fits over the lens and then kind of goes out at the side. Now there is a specific angle that needs to be out the way of the lens. The field of view is actually listed in the DJI specs and I've worked out what that needs to be with a little bit of trigonometry. Or we could do it with good old trial and error. Now the actual dimensions of the camera itself is 14 millimeters but we need to make that a little bit bigger. So first of all, I'm going to press C for circle. Uh, and again, I'm using SketchUp here. It's a slightly older version of SketchUp that I tend to just uh, kind of stick with and love. Uh, SketchUp is a free program available that you can download. It doesn't do curves very well, um, but it does actually, if you know how to run it. So I'm gonna press C for circle, and then I'm going to start drawing a circle near the origin, which is here, and I'm gonna pull it out and I'm going to type in the radius of the circle. Now the lens is 14 millimeters. I need it just a smidgen more. So I'm going to type in 7.2 millimeters. Uh, that'll hopefully mean it'll push on and stay as a friction fit. So I'm going to hit enter. So there's my circle. If I just zoom in with the wheel on the mouse, H for hand, and kind of move things into the middle. I'm going to double click on all those pieces, select M for move and drag it in so I can see what I'm doing. So H for hand again, O for orbit. Let me just zoom in, H for hand, drag it in. Okay, so that should go around our lens. Now there's loads of different ways that we can do this, but what we can do is we can draw the cross section of the piece we want to make and then wrap it round the outside of this. So I'm going to do L for line. And I'm going to find where the edge is. There it is. I'm going to draw a line straight up in the air. I'm looking for it to snap to this axis. So that's the green axis. That's the extended edge. Here we go, the blue axis, which is the vertical axis. So there we go, that's fine. I'm also going to say alpha line again. I'm going to find the bottom of there. I'm going to pull it out this time on the red axis and type in two millimeters. And I'm going to go up a chunk as well. Okay, so there's kind of construction lines. Now I know that this piece at the side needs to be 10 millimeters deep. So what I'm going to do is press T for tape. I'm going to measure on this line. 10 millimeters and hit enter. There's my little thing. So I'm going to do a line and drag that across. And all I'm doing at the moment is just construction lines really. This, these won't be the final versions. And then I know that the angle that I want coming out from here outwards, I know the angle as it passes this bit here uh, to make it all work. This, if I do T for tape again and measure it up, it needs to be 0.932 millimeters. Okay, there it is. So L for line again, click on there, click there. And then I can actually, if I click on it again, see that it'll kind of extend the line and that's what we want. So I can press E for arrays, get rid of some of this gubbins. And now what I need to do is kind of finish this off. So you can kind of, it's starting to look like the thing I'm after. So we're gonna press L for line. I can just arbitrarily, I'd like a little bit that sticks up in the air. Again, we're looking for the blue axis. That'll work. Blue axis again. H for hand, bring it in the middle so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. L for line again. So we'll bring it down a little bit and then we will bring it in, I don't know, maybe there. E for arrays, get rid of everything that we don't want so that we have a cross section of the piece that we actually need. Now the cool thing is we can wrap that all the way around this circle by using this tool over here. So if I click on follow me, in fact, hang on, let me just select the circle first, click follow me, 
Follow that circle with the shape and look at that. There it is. Now we just need to click on the bottom and get rid of that pit. Now this has um, got a couple of problems because it's all blue. It should be all white. So I'll just go into Tools, Solid Inspector. This is a downloadable plugin. We'll click all the reverse faces and there we are. That looks a little bit better. So there it is. So now if I export that into an STL file, print it, I can push it home over the lens of that camera and hopefully it'll protect that camera from damage in the event of a crash. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.